Hey everybody, I am Corinne Blackstone and I am super excited to be here on Auntie Tay's YouTube channel for a takeover. In today's takeover, I'm going to show you guys 20 amazing projects that you can make with your pets in mind using your Cricut cutting machine. You'll be able to get a bunch of great SVGs at AuntieTay.com to go along with this video, so be sure to check those out. We're going to use lots of different products including permanent vinyl, HTV, and bling. I'm so excited to show you guys all 20 of these ideas. But first, let me introduce you to my pets who inspire me every day. First, let me introduce you to my Basset Hound Rottweiler mix, Chevy. She's nine and a half and we adopted her back in 2012. Next, I have my twin kitties, Raven and Poe. They are a brother-sister pair that we adopted in 2013. Next, meet Waffles. She is what they call a Torby, which is a tortoiseshell tabby cat. She is a rescue cat that I have had since she was just two weeks old and I bottle fed her. We thought about adopting her out after we fostered her, but she just fit in so well with our family that we decided to keep her. Next, we have our big fluffy baby Wednesday Adam. She came to me after being found in a bush all by herself with nobody else around to care for her. I have bottle fed her since she was about a week old and she has always been a spunky little fighter. And last but not least is our cat Magnolia. We call her Maggie and we have had her since she was two weeks old. We fostered her entire family, her mother and her seven siblings. My brother-in-law has her brother and it's so much fun getting to watch them grow up. Maggie had some health issues as a kitten, so she's very, very small for her age, but she is just as crazy as every other cat I have and loves to play and is so sweet and cuddly. One really easy project that you can do is a collar and leash set. I got my collar and leash off of Amazon, but you can find a set anywhere that you love to shop. These are so fun and so easy. You just need a little bit of HTV in any color that you choose. I chose white and I used my Easy Press Mini, so you could use a home iron to do this as well. It's very, very simple and you can use any style that you want. You're even welcome to embellish it with some bling on the leash. And it's just a cute way to really show off your personality and your pet's personality. We love to treat our pets, so it's really fun to be able to dress up their treat jars. I made these really cute treat jars by just using some permanent vinyl, and you can find the SVGs for these plus another style on the Auntie Tay website. There are two bundles, a cat bundle and a dog bundle that you can get, and they're included with the membership. They're really fun and they have a ton of great designs, not just what I used here in the video. I threw in a couple extras for you guys as a thank you for checking out my video. Now these were just done again with some permanent vinyl. I used two colors and it was really easy. You can get treat jars in any style to match your home decor, any kind of coloring that you like, and then you can add any color vinyl that you want to so that it matches. A great way to keep those treat jars organized and looking neat on your countertop is to add a little treat box. Now my treat box has two sides to it, just depending on the mood that I want at that time. We've got a little bit more of a subtle one that just says treats and then we put a little funny saying on the other side. You can get a little pine wood box anywhere. This one came from Joann's, but you can find any style that you like or you can even build one yourself. I simply stained it, put a coat of polycrylic on it and then added some permanent vinyl. I wanted everything to look like it really went together and matched. That way it was a whole set. So I definitely had fun with this one. I loved putting this together. It was very, very simple, and it really was a very inexpensive thing that you can make to really up your decor. Chevy wanted to do some tricks for you to get some treats. She knows how to give you her paw and how to wave and give high fives. She loves a good treat and tricks. Tricks are a great way to bond with your pets. My cats are very treat motivated. As you can see, Waffles was stealing treats out of the jar. She's a sweet little girl, but definitely loves her food. Now, we know that our pets can be messy, and that's okay, we still love them, but a way to keep it very clean and neat where they eat is to make them their own personalized placemat. I got my placemat from Target, but you can find them anywhere. One thing I would recommend is to make sure that your placemat is not silicone, as nothing sticks to silicone, so you won't be able to decorate it. This one is just a cotton fabric. 
so I used some HTV and it was really, really fun. This is just Caesar Easy Weed White and the SVG for both the circles and the eat drink with the paw print is available on the Auntie Tay website at antitay.com for the membership. You can get a ton of fun SVGs there, so definitely check those out. To go along with your placemat, you'll definitely want to get some food and water bowls. These are also from Target in a rose gold color by Boots and Barkley. I got the rose gold to match the fun tops on the treat jars, but you can get any style that you want. And all I did was just place some permanent vinyl on the sides. These are not dishwasher safe, but you can definitely hand wash them. And they're really, really cute. It's just a fun way to really dress up the area that you feed your pets. Adding a little bit of fun and color is a great way to really make your pets feel more like a part of the family. This was just a really fun thing that I wanted to make and I thought what a cute way to use a picture of your pet. These could be used for either a pet birthday party or a child's birthday party or just any day that you wanted to have some fun with some cupcakes. These cupcake toppers are very, very easy to make. It's just two circles and the dog bone shape from the SVGs. All I did was cut them out on some glitter cardstock. I printed the pictures and had the Cricut cut them out. And then I just used some foam tape and glue to put everything together. They're really, really fun and you can do a lot of fun things with these. You can make really big cake toppers in featuring your pets. You can also find lots of places that sell dog cupcakes which are cupcakes that are safe for your dog to eat, made out of all kinds of delicious, yummy things that your dog likes. I will try to get some recipes and put those in a Pinterest board for you guys for some doggy treats. I love to make my dog treats. It's a way that you know exactly what's going into your treats, and you can make sure that they're really, really healthy and safe for your dog. The safety and well-being is super important for our pets, and it's something that you really need to think about. I created these emergency care cards that you can print out and cut with your Cricut or just cut with a pair of scissors and you keep it in your wallet or in your purse or in your car. In that way, if you're ever in an accident or incapacitated in any way, emergency services will know to give your emergency contact a call and let them know that they need to take care of your pets. Your emergency contact can be a neighbor, a best friend, or anybody that can take care of your pets. I tried to make sure that there was enough space for you guys to write a vet's information, your emergency contact information, and your own information. That way, the emergency services know who to tell the emergency contact that they need to care for. If you're somebody who travels with your pets, it's really important that you have their vet records with you. A lot of places will need to see all of their shot records to allow them to travel or to even enter some places. So a great thing that you can use is this handy dandy important document folder. What I loved about doing this one was that you could really personalize it and it seals up with the little snap so it's really easy to keep all of your documents safe and it's super cute. You can easily pack this in your luggage or your carry-on and that way you have it with you and you can make sure that you are always prepared for any questions about your pet. This is also a great thing to keep in the house. You can keep it in a fireproof safe. That way it doesn't get damaged if anything happens. And you always have your pet's vet records all in one spot. I love that you can add your last name to it or your pet's name to it. And it's a great thing to keep as a keepsake as well. My dog Chevy does not like to wear clothes, even though she looks so cute in them. So a great compromise is a fun bandana. The SVG for this bandana is available with the dog bundle of SVGs at antitay.com with the membership, but it's so cute and I added just a little bit of antitay bling just to give it that little bit of sparkle. I am so obsessed with my dog and I know a lot of people are, so I hope that you guys will have fun making this bandana. The best part is that you can get a bandana from anywhere. This one is from Shell of a Shot Boutique and she makes the cutest bandanas and I had so much fun. It's the perfect size for my dog and I just love the pattern. Here's Chevy looking all beautiful and pretty in her bandana. She's so cute and she really loves to wear these even though she doesn't look really thrilled in this video. Cameras for her are weird and she's never really liked looking at them. But I just thought she looked so pretty that I wanted to share it with you guys. A fun way to make your pets part of the family is to include a picture of them on your family picture wall. I made this one of my cat Maggie. This is one of my favorite pictures of her. 
She was just a pound in this picture and she was our foster cat at the time. We hadn't decided to keep her yet, but we loved her to death. She's the sweetest baby and so cute. She would lay in the funniest little positions as a baby and she was really, really sick. So it was really important that we kept a really close eye on her. When Maggie was six months old, she had major surgery to remove a polyp in her throat, which was keeping her from eating and gaining weight. She was only three pounds at six months old and she should have been closer to six to eight pounds. She is now just a tiny little six pound kitten and we love her to death. She is two years old and thriving, but she'll always be a little bit on the smaller side. Caring for any pet that is in your household is so important, so it's a really good thing to know and keep an eye on your pet's weight and their health. Cats can sometimes hide when they're feeling sick, so it's important to note any time their personality changes or they're acting just a little bit off. I volunteer for an animal shelter near me, and one of the things that I love to do is to create cat toys for them. The bonus to doing these cat toys is they're super simple and really inexpensive, so you can make several of them and donate them or use them with your own pets. All it takes is a dowel rod, some twine, and some felt. You can cut out any shape that you want. This one was done with feathers, but I also have a little fish shape that you can use, or you can just make your own shape. Hearts and stars are really fun, too. You can add feathers and colored ribbons to them and bells and lots of fun embellishments to make it really fun for the cats to play with. And what I love about these is because they're so inexpensive, if you volunteer and donate them, you can always let the shelter know that those toys can go home with the cats when they get adopted. Sending a toy that a cat is used to when it goes home with a new family can be really helpful to help the cat adjust to a new home and a new family. Having that familiar scent and sound and toy can really, really help them feel more comfortable in their new home. If you're like me, your pets make you think that you have 12 toddlers living in your house at all times. Their toys are always everywhere and as much as I love them, I hate tripping over their toys all day long. So I made this cute little toy box. It was really easy. I just did it just like the treat box. It's just a pine wood box from Target. It is from their Pillow Fort brand and I just stained it with Ebony Stain from Minwax. I added a coat of polycrylic to it, that way the vinyl can stick, and then applied vinyl. I did two different sides just so I could have a different look depending on what room I wanted to put it in or how I wanted it to look at that time. My cats absolutely love just sitting in their toys and playing in them that way and pulling them out of the box, but it gives you a nice clean look when you wanna clean up their toys and put them away. If you're anything like me, you love talking about your pets, thinking about your pets, playing with your pets, hanging out with your pets. So I made a really fun tote bag that I can take with me when I go places and it has my cat waffles on it. This is a really fun item that you can make and it's really easy. You just need to go to two different websites. You wanna go to remove.bg and have a picture that has a really good shot of your pet and remove the background and then you'll take it over to the website picksvg.com and it will convert it into a line SVG and then you can just load it right into your Cricut and cut it. This is a really fun way to make a cute picture of your pet and put it on clothing, tote bags, pillows, lots of great options. You can get the SVG for the cats are cooler than people in the cat bundle at antitay.com. Sublimation is becoming huge right now in the crafting world and you can use it to make something really fun for your pets. I made a really fun fleece tie blanket. Now I cannot cut a straight line. I am really bad at sewing. So tie blankets are great for me because you don't have to cut perfect lines and you don't have to know how to sew. All I did was made my tie blanket and then applied the really fun catnap queen with sublimation to the fleece. Fleece is made out of polyester, so sublimation is great on fleece, and it's easy to do, and it is safe for your pets because they can't chew that off, unlike HTV, where if they were to chew on it, it might come off. I love this tie blanket, and my cats are obsessed with laying on fleece, so this is perfect for them. One thing that I absolutely love to make for friends when they get a new dog is a tag. It's so important that your dog has identification on them. That way, if they get out or get lost, they can get home to you. It's important to have that tag on their collar at all times. Even if your dog is microchipped 
it is really recommended to have some sort of identification on the outside of your dog. This tag was very easy to make. I used some faux leather and I just used HTV. I glued it together using some E6000 and once that was glued together, I applied the HTV. You want to make sure that you use a font that is easily read and easily seen. That way it's much easier for somebody if they find your dog to identify your dog's name and your phone number. Now I did not put my phone number on this tag because obviously I don't want my phone number on the internet and I do want to use this tag on my dog. I love using faux leather for these because they can get wet and things. You'll want to make sure that you do inspect it from time to time and make sure that it's still holding up. But even if you needed to make a new one, it's very, very easy, very inexpensive, and such a fun gift that you can make, and you can really personalize it to that person's personality. If your dog goes to doggy daycare or stays with friends if you're traveling, making a food container for them is super helpful. I made this one for my dog for when she goes and stays with her grandpa. This has all of her feeding directions in it and even has a little cup that has measuring on it so it makes it super easy for him to know that he's feeding her correctly. Yes, our dog does get green beans in her dinner. If you don't know, green beans actually help suppress a dog's appetite and they're very healthy for the dog. Our dog was a little bit overweight so in order to help her with that, we gave her green beans. Now that she's a healthy weight, she still insists on having her green beans every night and it's healthy so we let her have a little bit of green bean every night and it really makes her dinner extra tasty. Walking your dog is a great way to share some bonding time, but you want to make sure that you always have a poop bag holder. And what more fun way to do it than to add their name. It's really easy. You can get these anywhere, including the Dollar Tree. I got a red one and just added her name to the back of it. It's a great item to have and you always want to have these on all of your leashes. If you're like me, you love to show off your pets, so I made a fun coffee mug featuring a picture that we had drawn of my dog Chevy when we were in Disney. We missed her like crazy when we were gone, so it was really fun to find a caricature artist that could take her photo and turn it into this really cool drawing. I just had the Cricut print then cut it out and added it to my mug. I used a waterproof paper, so it's great that you can hand wash this now and use it and share off your puppy pride. It's always hard to lose a beloved pet. And one of the things that I do for my friends and family when they lose one that they love is to give them a little gift of a memorial candle and a card. That way they can think about their pet and light the candle and it's just a nice little way to let them know that you care. You can use a candle from anywhere and all I did was I peeled off the original label from the candle. I left the label that's on the bottom because that does tell them the scent, but I did take the side label off. And I just did that by using some awesome cleaner from the Dollar Tree because that eats through adhesive really, really well. And I peeled it off and gave it a nice clean with some goo gone. Then all I did was add some vinyl to the side. A lot of people will ask, is it safe to add vinyl to a candle? And yes, it is. The side of the candle does not get hot enough to damage the vinyl. You have to remember that permanent vinyl is used outside on cars in all conditions and the windows on cars get extremely hot in the summer. The candle is not going to get that hot, so it is completely safe to do. I love getting my pets involved with what I love to do, which is of course to craft. So one of the fun, cool trends that's been going around is dog art. It's a, such a fun way that you and your dog can spend some time together. You can even do this with your cats or even your kids. It's really fun. When you do it with a dog, you'll want to use something that they love as far as like peanut butter or cheese whiz works really well. And you put a canvas inside a Ziploc bag. You can use a stencil. I put a paw print on mine with some permanent vinyl. And then you put the cheese whiz on top of the Ziploc bag after you've sealed it up with the paint in the canvas and let the dog have fun, lick off all of the cheese whiz. And then when it's done, pull the canvas out of the bag and you'll have a really fun piece of art. It's a really cool way to do things. I've done them with my cats as well. And I just use a laser pointer and make them jump all over the bag. It's really fun, but if you do that with your cats, make sure that they don't use their claws. If you get a hole in the bag, it can mean big messes. Kids love to do it too. They can just use their hands and mush that paint all around, but it's a fun thing that you could do with the whole family and make like a little collage 
of artwork that they did that day. You can also just simply use a piece of paper if you don't have a canvas as well, but you do want to make sure that the bag is held down to the floor or the surface that they're doing this on so that it doesn't slide everywhere. Just use some painter's tape and hold the bag down. My dog had a blast making this and she made such a cute little piece of art that we will cherish forever. Don't forget to head over to antitay.com to check out these SVG bundles available for the members of her page. I loved these SVGs and had so much fun making them for you. If you guys use these SVGs to make anything, be sure to tag me and to tag Auntie Tay. I would love to see how creative you guys get with all these really fun pet projects. This was such a fun event for me and I really enjoyed making these SVGs and getting creative. So be sure to show me what you get creative with too. I want to thank you guys for joining me for this Auntie Tay Takeover, where I showed you 20 pet projects you can make with your Cricut Craft Cutter. If you are interested in learning more about fostering or adopting a new family member, check out your local shelters and rescues. Petfinder.com is a great place to find resources and find more about your local rescues and shelters. I hope you all had so much fun. You got to meet my pets, check out some of these fun pet projects. Have a great day and happy crafting.